everyone! We are going through the Bible to find the importance of Christmas. Today's block has a rainbow. After Adam and Eve left the garden, time passed and many people filled the earth. But the earth they lived on wasn't like the garden that God had made for Adam and Eve. It was tough earth with death and sadness and tears. And the people were tough too. They didn't care for each other very well. In fact, they were downright mean and they didn't care about God either. But God was still there, watching and waiting. God was getting ready to make the wrong things right and the dark things light. He started with a man named Noah. Unlike everyone else in those days, God was with Noah. So when God had something to say, Noah listened. God told Noah that it made him sad to see how mean and hateful everyone was to each other. And with all of this sin and hate, the people couldn't be with God. So God was going to start over. Noah probably knew that this wasn't going to be easy, but he knew that God was with him and that he would protect him. God told Noah to build a really big boat called an ark. God told him exactly how to build it out of which materials, and Noah trusted God. God then told Noah to put his family on the ark, and God sent two of every kind of animal to the ark. After Noah, his family, and the animals were on the ark, they waited. And then one day the sky got dark, and God shut the door to the ark. Rain came pouring down, and soon there was water everywhere. There was no more time for anyone else to build a boat, because the whole world was flooded. Noah and his family were on the ark, and they waited and waited and waited. It rained for 40 days and 40 nights, and then when the rain stopped, they had to wait even longer for the floodwaters to go down to be able to walk out on dry ground again. Some days later, Noah sent out a dove, and it came back with a leaf. You know what that means? Leaves grow on branches, and branches grow on trees, and most trees grow in solid ground, not in water. So that meant that the floodwaters were going down. Soon after that, God guided the ark to a patch of land on a mountain and opened the door of the ark. Noah, his family, and the animals could come out and they were probably pretty excited to be on dry land again. Noah was faithful and obedient to God. God was faithful in keeping Noah and his family safe from the flood. Even though Noah had to wait and wait and wait, God was with him. Noah thanked God for taking care of him and his family. This was a new beginning but they'd have to wait a lot longer before God's plan to redeem his children would be known. The rainbow was God's reminder to us that he would never destroy the world again by flood. Remember, God always keeps his promises. And tomorrow, we'll take a look at another promise that God made. See you tomorrow!